Hi everyone and welcome in another episode of our Megahood series. I'm here in the Cap family. The sortation will start in Verona and I'm probably gonna marry consort with Dina today. I'm gonna make you greet Romeo because why not and okay go get engaged to Romeo. <laughs> Did I... Did I put the same interaction twice? By accident? Well, she just... She just had a breakdown, she's gonna have another one. Okay, she won't now, luckily. Okay, go break up with him and say goodbye. Because it's not really working. Okay, let's get married quickly because... Kosa seems like a kind of sim who would get married somewhat quick because he knows he wouldn't be married too long, I, I guess. Okay, Dina moved in and brought in quite some money. I'm gonna change their name because I want them to be named after consort. So, Fib, that's how you read it. But yeah, you two are going to be Fib now. I was about to say Consort is gonna eat your sandwich, but but he just died in a in the smallest bathroom in the house. Of course. Don't go there, you don't have enough space. But at least he had a golden grave. He seemed to die happy and I could move all the graves to the cemetery. Did Consort get bugged? Because he doesn't really want to disappear. Okay, he finally disappeared. Okay, kid is gonna live in Tibbalt's room and and the dinner is giving birth right as I finish the kid's room. Okay. I kinda want her to have a son. So I think I'm gonna aim for that. Okay, it's a girl, so no. Okay, we finally have a boy. Someone commented to name him Flamenco after Dina's dad and I really like that idea, so I... I'm gonna go with that. She has red hair and green eyes, okay. It's funny to think when both of his parents are blonde. <laughs> Juliet seems to get quite along with Dina. That's good. I wonder what Dina will do now, because she has like... married two rich sims and now she has some fortune. Okay, that looks really odd, but I want the bathroom to not be connected with the baby's room and I don't want Hermia to have just a private bathroom so yeah okay flamenco is aging up let's age the kid up okay now what oh, oh okay I want to change your outfit, but let's check how you look like. Oh, he looks really nice. He has the spiky nose after Dina though. I hope he won't look too bad because he looks pretty cute already. You can teach him to talk because you are like family sim and he wants to be taught stuff. Okay, she didn't teach him how to talk yet, but it's quite late. I just now noticed Hermia doesn't have any kind of dresser in her room. This is the best one, but maybe in different color. I guess this one will have to do. 
Okay, kid now knows how to talk. I could do some plotline with like Juliet kicking Dina out because because uh, she's the hair and this is a cap manor. But they have quite good relationships, so I don't think it will happen. And it's quite visible that Juliet likes Dina more than the other way. Are you friends with the bolt? Yeah, you are because I want to give him his stuff. Okay, let's give him this. He seems to like it, now say goodbye. It seems like only Hermia is interested in, in this kid. Okay, it's Saturday morning, so we finished our rotation here. Time to go to another family. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Monty, so let's go. So we are at the Monty's now. We're playing here till Saturday as well, and I don't know what I wanted to do. I considered moving Erin in here, but I think I'm gonna do so in the next rotation, maybe. Or maybe no, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it now, because why not? So let's give them a small wedding. Oh, she married a rich sin. Okay. She didn't take the green phone with her, but that's alright. I considered giving the phone to Kristen anyway. So it's alright that she kept it. It made things a little easier, I guess. She brought 80 to Simoleon, so okay, alright. Isabella looks quite old. I'm curious if she'll die in this episode or in the next one. Oh yeah, she had like some crush. She wanted to fall in love and get married. Okay, okay. So let's invite that guy over. Oh, he came here in a suit. That's quite lovely. They seem to get along, but I don't know how to write the lifetime relationship. Okay, she won't die today, so we can somewhat freely say goodbye to him. I was about to say Erin won't really sleep anywhere tonight, but Mercutio woke up, so they're gonna share a bed for now. I see Erin is really old already, so let's try for baby or something. Okay, he's in love now, she is too. Oh, Let's kiss few more times and I'm gonna make a small marriage because she's too old to wait more. Oh, they're married now. Hmm. 6,000 sounds like quite a lot. Do you really want to throw an anniversary party right after your wedding? I didn't know it's possible, but I know I'm not gonna do that. It's too soon. Okay, let's adopt a baby. <laughs> I forgot I need to name the baby. Well, if he's named Alejandro, I'm gonna name his kid Juan, I guess. And he's aging up already. I won't complain, I will just age him up. I wonder how he looks like. His clothes are really cute, so I'm not gonna change them. He looks quite nice. I like it. Okay, Isabella died. Let's move the grave right away. I'm gonna change things a little because I'm gonna make this Mercutius room and give his room to, to Alejandro. Okay, I made it like that for now. It's not a big change, it's something, and I need to move the posters as well. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> What's your lifetime want? Have six grandchildren. I would be happy if you lived long enough to see your son as a teenager. Oh wait, we started giving birth. I was thinking they could get anything, but now I think that maybe he would... That maybe my crusher should get a son or something to continue the surname. Okay, one kid and a son. Oh boy. So I'm gonna name him Charles. 
I have no idea if that character is good or bad, but I don't care too much. I consider that name as pretty cute. He wants to make 20 best friends and I'm not even trying to fulfill that. Go call someone. Luckily the kids don't need much at the moment, except the fact that Charles is having a birthday. I wonder how well he mixed, because his parents have quite interesting genetics. I don't consider either of them as bad looking, really. But I wonder how their kid mixed. It could end badly. Oh, he's blonde. I just now noticed. Okay, you go potty train your kid in the meantime. His outfit looks pretty cute. Not really Monty colors, but I guess there's no such thing as Monty colors. Okay, and show me how the kid looks like. Okay, he looks quite interesting. Not bad in my opinion. I think he's gonna grow up pretty cute. I'm gonna change his hairstyle though. I didn't know I have this one. I guess I'll just give him this. Alright, we reached Saturday morning, so that's gonna be all for today. I hope you liked this episode. Comment what do you want me to do in the next episodes. I have some smaller and bigger plans for what to do, but nothing serious yet really, so anything can change, so I'm not gonna share it yet. I may add vacations. In meantime, so I can send some sims, but I don't know yet. It takes some time to play on vacations and I'm not the best with time lately. <laughs> but anyway, I don't have much to add. You saw what happened. We had kids born at the Monty, kids adopted at the Monty, and kids born at the Cubs as well. So yeah, that's all for today. Leave a comment and see you next episode. See you next Wednesday. Bye.